Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well, and welcome to what may prove to be yet another garage nightmare. Here in the Mr. Man Cave, we occasionally do things to motorcycles that can turn out horribly wrong due to my mechanical ineptitude, and I often end up having to bring in some sort of an expert to sort out the mess that I've created for myself, but uh, hopefully not this time. Anyway, let's roll the credits and then I'll tell you what we're going to get up to. Right, if you've watched uh, any or many of my videos in the past, you'll know I'm an absolute sucker for a retro motorcycle. In fact, I own three of them myself here in the garage. I've got uh, my custom Royal Enfield Interceptor. I've got my uh, new Kawasaki Z900 RS, which I absolutely love, still in the honeymoon period with that one. And over here, I've got my trusty Triumph Speed Twin, which again, I absolutely love. Now, these bikes are absolutely fabulous for poodling around the lanes, which is what I mostly use them for, but they also can be serious bits of transport, or indeed, you can go and do some touring on them. But the thing that lets them down in that situation is a lack of storage capacity. There's nowhere on here to carry stuff if you want to. Unlike my other bikes, like my, my massive gold wing here, which has got sort of loads of built-in storage, which is great, or the GS, which has you know the side cases that I've got on the wall there and the, the top box and stuff. So you know it just adds an awful lot of utility to a bike if you can actually carry stuff on them. So what I want to do today is uh, have a look at the Speed Twin and see what we can do with regards to adding some storage capacity. Now there is a bit of a story as to why I'm starting with the speed twin but uh, let me just go around uh, each bike and tell you what I want to do with them in the fullness of time. So the interceptor then, what can be done about the storage on this? Well, uh, because this is a custom bike, it's been chopped around a bit. In fact, the back end of this has been shortened, so it's not standard. You can't buy kind of the aftermarket um, luggage that you would attach via brackets and stuff to go onto the interceptor. So I'm not gonna be able to do that on here. I'm kind of stuck to roll bags on the seat or throw over type luggage. So uh, I don't propose to do anything long-term with this. It's a custom bike. I'm not gonna go touring on this. It's um, something that I just love riding around the lanes and enjoy looking at here in the garage. So forget the interceptor for now. Uh, it's the other two bikes that are more interested in making a bit more practical. So how about the Kawasaki then? What can we do about that? Well, there are various aftermarket uh, solutions for panniers available. And I've talked before on videos about getting some panniers for the Kawasaki. My favorite for that were the uh, Hepgo and Becker um, panniers. Unfortunately, uh, they don't actually make them for the Kawasaki Z900RS. I think they made them for previous versions, but in the, this is the 2023 model. And uh, I think it's got some slightly different fixings to the back end, which means the uh, existing models of the Hepgo and Becker stuff doesn't fit the Kawasaki. So we're gonna have to come up with another solution for that and uh, I've got something in mind and that'll be the subject of a future video so for now the Kawasaki is going to have to wait which leaves the Speed Twin. Uh, what can we do about this? Well, it so happens that you can get Hep Go and Becker bags for the Speed Twin. Uh, I've got myself a set with brackets, uh, and this is going to be really the subject of today's video. I'm going to uh, attempt, this is where the tricky bit comes in, attempt to install the brackets on here, see how hard it is, see what the uh, panniers look like on here. I'll show you the panniers as well, and then we'll go for a ride and see if it's affected how the bike feels at all. But before all that, I'll uh, grab myself a cup of tea. I need to move the bikes around a bit, make a bit of space, and then uh, we'll take a look at the bags and the stuff that I'm going to do the install on. Oh, and there's a cup, there's a bit of my merch. Check out my website, www.themissendomfly.com. Right, I've had a bit of a move around, made myself a little bit of space so I can work on the bike. These are the bags in question. They are from Hepco and Becker, uh, and I've got my friend and fellow YouTuber, Freddie Dobbs, to thanks for these. He's the person that got me onto these bags. I first saw them installed on his Triumph, and I thought they look pretty good. So uh, I got chatting with them about them, because I was a little bit worried they wouldn't be waterproof. And on the website, it, it doesn't say anything about them being waterproof, in fact, but he said he's never experienced anything more waterproof than these. So although they're technically not waterproof, they don't let the moisture in, so that's a good thing. Anyway, let me get one up on the bench I'll give you a, a, a bit of a closer look at it. Right here we go then this is the the bag itself pretty much the same either side they've got this clever thing it's I think it's called a SIBO mechanism which literally this this plastic bracket on the back with a lock on it which uh, has a, a fitting bracket that you slide it onto so it's very um, Basically, there's not a lot to see on the bike. Hopefully, we'll see that as I fit them in a minute. Uh, the bag itself, very sturdy, very thick uh, leather. It's got buckles on, as you can see, as well as a lock, so it's got a degree of security on it as well. And there's Velcro under here. So the top loaders, obviously. Inside here, I've got the, uh, the bracketry that we're gonna fit in a second. Let me get all that out. And the instructions. And whilst they're not absolutely huge, they're, you know, they're pretty useful. You could pack enough in there for a weekend away for one, or in my case, it's for carrying the odd bits of shopping uh, and in my YouTubing uh, cameras, that sort of thing. So I think they're gonna be absolutely uh, perfect. And I think if uh, Freddie's bike's in that go by, they're gonna look good too. So uh, there comes a tricky bit, read the instructions, work out how to fit them. Well, now clearly these bags will suit 
any sort of retro bike you like, but you need to buy the right kit for the right bike. And obviously this is the Speed Twin kit. Hopefully they'll come up with a kit for the uh, Kawasaki Z900 RS in due course, and then I can swap them between the bikes. Right, it seems easy enough, I'll crack on. Right, so just having a quick look at how this is gonna work. This bracket is gonna sit about there. And then this here is gonna go on the shock absorber mount there. Under there, they provide you with some spaces. You bout that one on there. Whoops. Like that. And then there's this goes under the seat on a bolt, which bolts on there. So it's gonna end up looking something like that either side. That's the theory anyway. Let me uh, crack on and do that and see how easy it is. Right, there you go, piece of cake basically. I've just put this on finger tight for now because you have to move it around to make sure everything fits, but it feels very precisely engineered. So uh, I think that's gonna be in exactly the right spot. We'll try the bags on in a second. First of all, we've got to tighten all this up, torque it up, bit of thread lock in there, put the seat back, do the other side, and then we'll see what it's like with the bags on. Right, done. All right, so there you go. That's the uh, brackets mounted on the bike. Told you it looked pretty minimal. So without the cases, this is all we've got. These are really solidly mounted on there. Uh, so I'm pretty confident that uh, they're gonna hold things nice and steady. Let's uh, slip the bags on, see what they look like. Fabulous. I think then what I should do is take the bike out for a bit of a ride, see if it feels any different with them on and uh, actually carry something in them. All right, so I'm out on the Speed Twin then with the bags installed, just to see if anything rattles or bangs or if it feels any different. Well, I can tell you I can't hear any rattles or bangs and nothing feels different. Of course, it might be a bit different when you get some weight on board. I've got my camera kit in there though, which is really handy and part of the reason for wanting to get them installed. Also, it means I can have some trips away on my own on this bike, which I intend to do in the next year or two. So that's gonna be an excellent added bit of functionality to the bike. Plus, of course, if you're out riding in your leathers, you can uh, put your waterproof in there as well. So uh, all sorts of added utility that will give the bike. Really pleased with how they look as well. I'll, uh, I'll stop up here somewhere and just give you a last look at what they look like on the bike and then off with just the brackets as well. So you can see that it is actually quite a neat install. Looking in my mirrors, I can actually see that the bags aren't moving around at all they look pretty solid on both sides so i'm glad i can see them in the mirrors as well gives me a bit of added confidence when i'm riding along it's all good all righty i'll find a place to stop up here and show you uh, what they look like clean as it were off the bike all right so here's the bike in the light of day with the uh, hepco and pa uh, becker panniers on board, let me just have a little wander around so you can see what they look like from all angles. They mount uh, nice and high so they're clear of the exhaust, which I like. And yeah, I think they look really cool. Nice retro style, absolute winners. I'll put the name of these particular bags on the screen and uh, must just say thanks to Hepco and Becca for sending them to me as well. Full transparency, I didn't pay for these. Um, they were sent to me, but I do think they look absolutely splendid and these were the ones that I wanted. Uh, in fact, Hepco and Becker contacted me after I mentioned them on a video previously, so that was good. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think they look really, really good. Alrighty, I'll uh, take them off so I can show you what they look like with just the brackets. Be back in a sec. Right, to whip them off, it's just this lock there. Lift them off like that. One. So dead easy if you're going to a hotel or whatever. Two. And if I get my iPhone video back, there we go. That is what she looks like with just the brackets on the back. Pretty clean looking install. You can barely notice the brackets are there if we come back around the back. There we go. Looks pretty good and dead easy to use as well. Really like those. Excellent. Alrighty, looking splendid the Speed Twin, absolutely love this bike, it is an absolute winner, do love a retro me. Alrighty, let's uh, head back then, or a little bit of a ride because it is such a lovely evening. So that's a bit of an unusual thing isn't it? A session of me in the garage, with no drama, nothing went wrong, dead easy install that. Can't remember if I mentioned but I'll stick a, uh, I'll stick a link below to those bags if you're interested. 
I can't remember off the top of my head how much they cost. They are quite expensive, I have to say, but uh, they are quality items and I'm sure they're going to outlive me in this motorbike. So that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you've not been to the channel before, I don't just do bits and pieces in the garage about how to install things on your bike. We also do trips and tours at home and abroad, the odd bike review, the odd monthly bike news, even the odd live stream. Well, I haven't done one of those for a while, I must put that right. Anything and everything I'll try and cover it here on the Mission and Fly. It'd be great to have you along. So do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. All right, that's it for now. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mission and Fly. Cheerio. Listen to this bike, fabulous.